so yeah exactly we don't have option in that particular question so we have to convert this into the simple form only so hence it will be yeah yeah we 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 can write down here only guys we can leave it here only if you want then maximum you can go for the solution so if you want you can go for the solution only yeah so we don't have okay we don't have options so we have to approach the solution only so it will be as cos pi by 3 means the cos 60 it will be what 1 by 2 so it will be minus 1 by 2 plus 1 so we can approach directly so x will be 0 0.5 only so if we have option then option can we can leave here only okay and at so many places we can leave here only but we don't have option so we have to conclude we have to find the answer so that is that is simple cos pi by 3 is minus 1 by 2 uh, it's already minus 1 is there so that's why cos pi by 3 is 1 by 2 it will be minus 1 by 2 plus 1 hence it will be 0 0.5 okay guys now now let's approach to the next question it's clear to everyone let's approach to the next question dy by dx plus y by x i think this is repeat question this we already done this is a repeated question guys we already done in the linear already done do you know that the, at that time the answer was that one only option number d was the answer yes we approached it okay let's leave it let's come to the next one this question has been asked in 2006 dy by dx plus 2xy is equals to e to the power minus x square so dy by dx plus 2xy is equals to e to the power minus x square so <laughs> we have to write down p the value is value of p is equals to dy by dx plus py is equals to q so p is equals to 2x q is equals to e to the power minus x square we have to find the solution at x is equals to 0 y is equals to 1 so we have the initial condition also to finding the the uh, value of constant also okay let's approach with the integrating factor it will be e to the power 2x dx when we approach it will be 2x square by 2 2 and 2 will be cancel out it will be e to the power x square only so hence your integrating factor is e to the power x square its question is talking about the solution so we have to find the general solution so your general solution will be y into integrating factor is equals to q into integrating factor dx plus c only guys okay let's approach it y into integrating factor is e to the power x square only it is q is e to the power minus x square it is e to the power x square dx plus c only so it will be y e to the power x square is equals to x plus c only we will have now we do have options so we can definitely we have to find the first of all we have to find the value of constant so it's already mentioned here at x is equals to 0 y is equals to 1 we are having guys right okay so at x is equals to 0 y is equals to 1 so we can write down x is equals to 0 so sorry at x is equals to 0 y is equals to 1 so it will be 1 into e to the power 0 and 0 plus c hence your c value of constant c will be 1 only so you can put again the value here so when you approach it will be y e to the power x square is equals to x plus 1 only now we don't have option like this okay exactly the question is talking about y is equals to y is equals to y is equals to and y is equals to so the we have we have options in the form of uh, when y is equals to we, we have to find out so we can write down y is equals to nothing but 1 plus x into e to the power minus x square yes exactly so this will be your final answer 1 plus x into e to the power minus x square you can see here in the option number b for bombay so this will be your final answer my dear students clear so we can easily approach the linear and the non-linear as i already told you in the non-linear there there is only an only question can frame of the integrating factor still there is general solution you can approach the general solution and in the linear if the question is about integrating factor or about the the, the general solution you can go for that so uh, let me tell you in the get 2021 there is a question actually asked in uh, about the integrating factor only so uh, for the linear equation there is a question has been asked for the integrating factor only guys okay now let's see what we have next so we have one more question let's approach it guys and let me check there are some uh, exactly there is not at all any get problem 
which asked from the Bernoullis. So reducible to linear, I cannot see any question. Okay. Now let's see. Let's approach to this one first of all. So x dy by dx, it will be dy by dx plus y by x is equals to x cube only. Yes, exactly. So we are having p is equals to 1 by x. We are having q is equals to x cube. Let's find the integrating factor. The process is same only. Question is talking about the solution only. So it will be e to the power 1 by x dx. Hence it will be e to the power log x to the base e. So hence integrating factor will be x only guys. Yes, exactly. So your integrating factor is equals to x only. Let's approach to the general solution. So your general solution will be y into integrating factor q into, into integrating factor dx plus c. We having each and everything y integrating factor is x only. q is equals to x cube only into x and dx plus c. So let's approach to the answer. It will be xy. We have x power 4. When we integrate x power 4, it will be x power 5 by 5. So it will be x to the power 5 by 5. On, and it is plus c so exactly we don't have answer like this so we have to find the uh, the the constant also so we have we have some point at x is equals to 1 y is equals to 6 by 5 so let's approach it at x is equals to 1 y is equals to 6 by 5 it is 1 it is 6 by 5 it is 1 by 5 plus c when we approach it it will be 5 by 5 so your constant c will become 1 only guys so you can see your constant is 6 minus 6 by 5 minus 1 by 5 which is equals to 5 by 5 which is equals to 1 so your constant c is equals to 1 let's approach here 1 so when we approach it uh, it will become xy is equals to x power 5 by 5 plus 1 only now we have again the question uh, sorry we have again the options in the form of y so we can write down it is y is equals to we can write down it's y is equals to x to the power 5 by 5x plus 1 by x it will be cancelled out so y is equals to x to the power 4 by 5 plus 1 by x this will be your final answer x power 4 by 5 plus 1 by x where you which you can see in the option number a only which you can see guys in the option number a only right so I think you are you are uh, feeling comfortable from the linear and non-linear form exactly you are feeling comfortable with the differential equation because as I already told you the differential equation is a easily scorable topic you can easily score without any difficulty you can score in the differential equation right okay do we have one more question let me check no we don't have let me check is, is there any question from the Bernoulli's okay if there is no question then we will just just uh, leave this one and we will have approach uh, from the next lecture we will have discussion on the on the uh, the next one will be the exact okay which is again an important thing so there will be no question from the 1819 also 2018-19 there is no question from the Bernoulli's exactly so yeah we don't have so okay leave it just leave it guys we don't have any question from the Bernoulli's even okay so that's all from this lecture guys so we will meet in the next lecture with the uh, with the exact differential equation we will start exact and after that the non exact okay so we are proceeding with the variable separation and reducible to variable separation is already done linear and non linear is already done homogeneous and non homogeneous is already done the remaining thing is now only and only uh, only and only exact and non-exact after that we uh, we just completed okay we we are we are just done with the with the uh, the solution of first degree and first order differential equation after that we will come for the higher order differential equations okay guys thank you